it's been like an adventure. And she shared half that adventure and I've shared half of her adventure in her life because we're old. <laughs> older now. Well, we're older. We're older. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Candace. Been with my husband 37 years. One long day. I'm Howard. I would say it's been a learning experience and I hope that I can graduate before it's all over with. <laughs> cool. I was visiting a friend who was a paparazzi who was trying to get the uh, money shot of Lonnie Anderson and uh, Burt Reynolds. Never did. And we just happened to bump into each other 37 years ago and we clicked. Are you hearing him through that? No, not at all. Anything at all? No, not at all. What are you listening to? I'm listening to Bob Marley. I thought I heard that. Yeah. I'm jamming. <laughs> at the time, I had a Corvette Stingray, and I had my own personal license plate, Miss Bowen. He was there with a friend of his who was a paparazzi, not a fan. And I see these guys surrounded my car. So I go, so uh, uh, what's up? And so they said, uh, oh, we really like the uh, personal mm. license plate. So I said, really? He said, yeah, Miss Bowen. He says, I think that's cool. I said, all right. I said, how'd you like to meet her? He says, yeah. I reached my hand out. I said, how you doing? I'm Miss Bowen. You can take off Bob Marley now. <laughs> I came out of the north and I said, I need a woman who I cannot intimidate and I wanted a tattoo, and I wanted a new nickname. <laughs> and the day before I met her, I had the tattoo guy down in Skid Row put this on my arm. How has race played a part in your relationship with Howard? Well, at the beginning it was rough, you know. I remember him saying, Mom, Candace and I are engaged. <laughs> she said, if a turtle and a bird falls in love, where are they going to build a house? That's what she said to me. And as the years went by, uh, and they, I guess they realized that we weren't an in and out burger, they started coming around. And, then my, and my mom didn't think twice. Here's a man who loves my daughter. He just happens to be a Jew. I had a tremendous amount of adjustment. I fell in love with a, a woman who was from a whole different culture. It was hard to adjust sometimes to it. I didn't understand it at all. And I had to live through it. And sometimes I'd get angry for, behind it. And sometimes I would get dumbfounded behind it. And sometimes I, I'd laugh at it, you know? I mean, it's just, uh, it's been, a strong part of the journey that Candace and I have been on for these many, many decades. Oh, that Bob Marley. No woman, no cry. Go ahead. Oh, you went on and on and on, mister. <laughs> well, they can edit, they can edit any of this, so, you know, and they want as he much. He went on and on. How many did you yeah. tell? <laughs> what is the most difficult thing that you two have been through? Losing our parents and supporting each other through that, that process. The passing of my mom and my dad and, and my sister lost her life you know, through breast cancer. I think those are the difficult times. You're in so much pain and physically, emotionally, and s someone can be there for you. You know, we've buried a lot of our people. Her parents, my parents, my step-parents. That's the worst thing that can happen uh, to a, you know, to a human being, is to lose, uh, you know, a loved one. And certainly they were all loved. How do you think uh, you two supported each other through that? I don't know, one day we got up in the morning, we were looking at each other and we go, we're orphans. <laughs> we start laughing at each other, but going through it. Going through it was, you know, when I lost my mom, because my mom was very young, 62, 
you know, like that. That was a shock to me, you know, losing my mom. When the other person is in distress, you come close to, to dying from it yourself. You know, you got to take all the pressure off that other person and make it happen to get, get it resolved. If I were to ask you to the other person what they mean to you, what would you say? I was my best friend. Candace is my best friend. And also uh, occupies a, a very large part in my heart and in my well-being. That's it. All done. Cool. That's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow! Amazing humans being amazing humans, as usual, right? You guys, thanks so much for watching and supporting us all the time. We love you. We love to talk with you. Comment below on your favorite part. You can also support us on Patreon so we can keep making dope stuff for you and grow our family. You can subscribe right here. We got more videos right here. And we'll see you soon, Jubilee fam.